Larry? What is going on here? Why is your mother coming over to our house? Lola, what do you want now? What's the problem? Where are you right now? I'm at my mother's house. I'm packing up her things and getting it moved to over there. Wait, what? Your mom's not coming to live here, is she? Yeah, of course. I told mum to head over to the house before me, as it might take me a while to get everything sorted. Look, I haven't eaten lunch yet, so why don't you whip up something for us, alright? Back up, mister. You're avoiding my question. You're not seriously saying that you're packing up your mother's things and moving her in here with us, are you? Uh, yeah, I am. What of it? I'm strongly against this from happening. Uh, why? What's the big deal? Well, let's see. The reason why I stopped going over to her house was because every time we did, she used to tease me about her marriage and make me feel terrible. Come on! You know her well enough to see how she treats me. And the fact that you never even consulted me about what you were doing? Is this some kind of joke? God, calm down, Lola. you become so testy recently. It's been over a year since you've gone to see her. My mum has forgiven you for your selfish efforts to isolate yourself. Are you kidding me, Larry? In addition to that, she's given you a chance to earn back your great daughter-in-law card. So you need to do your best to prove that to her, from today. This seriously must be some kind of bad joke. Why would I joke? Are you not paying attention on what I said before? I'm not living in the same house as your mother. What? You have no choice but to live with her now. I outright reject this insane idea you have. And I'm not going to let your selfishness come into play again. I forgave you the last time you did this, as I think you needed some time to calm down. I'm not going to do that this time. Her house has already been sold. And he's about to be handed over to the new owners, so she needs somewhere to live. The house has been sold? I had no idea! If you refuse to live in the same house as her, she's going to completely lose her way and be on the streets. Do you want that on your conscience? No matter how hostile you are, how could you do such an inhumane thing to your husband's own mother? Now that my dad has passed away, our house is the only place you can come home to, you know? So, this is how you choose to act then? Lola, if you refuse to let our mother live with us, then I guess I've got no choice but to file a divorce from you. If that's what you want, I get it. Fine. Let's get divorced. What? Are you really wanting to do this? You can't give me empty threats, Larry. From today, I'll go hand over the divorce papers at the courthouse. Are you being serious about this, Lila? Yep. By the way, your mother has been making a fuss over whether or not you've had lunch yet, so you should buy something for you both. Hey, you should be the one preparing lunch for all of us if we're together. We're getting divorced, Larry, so I'm saying no to making anything. What? you saying no to me? If I keep having to do what you and my mother-in-law say to me, there will be many disagreements, and I can't have that if we all live together. I guess just be grateful that I'm not forcing you both out of the house. Lola, don't be like this. I will start to prepare things then. Not your mother's lunch, though. Just the divorce papers. Once you get back home, please sign them. So this can be over and done with. Hey, Lola, did you really just leave my mother behind at the house and went out? Yeah, I come back now and I'm in my room. And I did that while I was working from home. Why'd you do that? Oh, do what you like for dinner. I went to the convenience store and bought my own dinner. I'll eat in my room. Who do you think you are? We're all living together from today, so why are you being so uncooperative? You know that we need to compromise, right? Because we're a family. Do you think you even have the right to use the word compromise after trying to force me? Us? All to live together? Don't talk to me like that. Did you really go and file for the divorce papers? Oh, get over it, Larry. Of course I did. I left it in the living room. Didn't you see it? Even your name has been written on the dotted line. Pinpoint precision. Yep, 
Now we just need for you to sign it. So can you do that, quick, please? You, you seriously want to get a divorce? I know who you really are, Lola. I've seen it. What do you mean, Larry? Nothing. It's fine. If this is what you want, I'll give you the divorce, okay? Suppose I write my name on the divorce papers then, shall I? But you'll be the one who has to deal with all the trouble if we go through with this. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's not a big deal to me, Larry. Now, can you hurry it up with the signing? Alright, alright. <laughs> I'll sign the damn papers. <laughs> Hey, Lola, about those divorce papers. I took them into the courthouse. And what are you talking about? Oh, you must have thought that if you threatened me with divorce papers that I'd panic and my mother would no longer be able to live here. But what a shame for you. You never thought that I'd turn it all around and actually do it, did you? It's a bit late for you to panic now, since it's already been done. <laughs> it's not good to intimidate someone with something so extreme as a divorce. Uh... Okay, I understand that, but... But what? What is it now? You saved me a lot of time and energy doing that, so thank you for going to file them. Huh? You didn't explain the but before. Oh, yes, but there's the issue of dividing up the property that we have, so... I have asked a lawyer for some guidance. You went to a lawyer? Whatever for? Of course I did! I was introduced to this lawyer through a close friend of mine, who dealt with their case. I don't... why's the lawyer got to be involved? Look, this is not a good time to talk. I have an online meeting in like a minute. We'll talk about this another time. Another time? But what is there to talk about? Aren't you going to tell me anything about this lawyer? I really must go now, Larry. We can discuss this more at a later date. Hey, you need to get out of here and fast. Larry? Get out? Who needs to get out? This is about you, Lola. It's already been a month since we got divorced, so how long are you planning on squatting here for? Squatting? I'm doing no such thing. This is my mother's and ours house, not yours. So you need to hurry up and leave. But I sold this house though, so how is it yours? Wait, what? You sold my house without telling me. Why so shocked, Larry? When I went to the lawyer's office, he explained the whole process to me properly. Once the divorce was finalized, I wanted you to move out of the house by the end of this month. If you don't want me to be in this house, you can always take legal action. You're kicking me out of the house. Well, yes, when it comes to this house, it's in my name as... I inherited it from my uncle, since he had no children. I'm sure you knew this. Oh, I guess you did tell me that before we even considered getting married. But when we got married, you changed your last name mine, right? What do you mean? Oh, did you forget? My mother told me that a bride should entirely devote herself to her husband. That's why the house should be changed to my name. I don't think that's how it works. Are you crazy? Really? Lola, did you not proceed with the change? How could you? There's no way that I would agree to this so-called story over changing everything into your name. So you seriously didn't do that? Obviously, there's no point in changing my name for only that reason. It makes no sense. This can't be happening to me right now. Oh, well, it was a stupid thing to continue with the whole story that we are living together without my permission. What stupid thing. My mother used to ask, is it because of the number of economically independent women has been increasing over time? Is the position of the mother-in-law and daughter-in-law equal? Or is it getting worse because of that? So, if a more outspoken and independent woman comes along, do you beat her to pulp? If you're going to just bully your own wife, of course she's going to fight back. But I... Uh that's what this situation feels like right now, doesn't it? But that's not it. I'm not bullying you. All you're doing is working from home. You're making way less than me now, so I don't know how you're going to afford your post-divorce lifestyle. Hey, 
Don't attack me for my job. I earn twice as much as what you do. Twice as much? I don't believe you. When I first got married to you, I was earning just a bit less. As I continued to work, my salary started gradually increasing, so now I earn quite a bit more than you. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm dead serious, Larry. Are you unemployed right now? Why'd you mention that? I heard the company you work for went bankrupt three months ago. How, how could you have found that out? I told you that I've got a friend at that company. So, why did you think that I wouldn't find out? Oh, of course. You found out with your loudmouth friends. Yeah, anyways, when are you planning on leaving here? My plan? Yeah, since you sold the house that your mother used to live at, you'll have no choice but to rent or buy a new house. By the looks of it, doesn't seem like you're looking at all? Uh, because we didn't think we were in a position that we had to leave the house. I'm not changing my mind. You've got until the end of this month to leave. So you've now got five days to pack up your things and leave, okay? We only have five days. Even if you don't have a place to live, you still need to leave, alright? I can't believe what you're saying right now. I haven't found another job and you're just going to ignore that fact. If you're going to be like this, you should be the one providing me a place to work and a pl place for my mother and I to live. If you're the one to do that, then I can leave at any time then. <laughs> There's no way I'm doing any of that. There's nothing I can do now. We're divorced. You should try contacting that friend of yours if you need help. What friend? That friend that you mentioned? Don't come complaining to me later if you don't get any help. Hey, Lola, why is there a big black truck parked in front of my house? It's a potter's truck, of course. Potters? What the heck? Yeah, they're a well-known lumber company in our area, you know? The owner's daughter was a year ahead of me in high school. Wait, hold up. The Potter's Lumber Company's daughter went to your high school. No way. It's not Laura Potter. Hold on a second. So you do know her? We're in the same year at middle school. Wow. I did think that we were from the same town, but... I didn't think that you would have that sort of connection. Well, when I told her about my situation with you and my mother-in-law, she went and told her father as well. She talked to the owner? Of course, they're father and daughter after all. At the same time that you got a job, your mother arranged to move into the company's housing estate. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Please stop talking to the porters. To think I'd work for them when I said I wouldn't. Well, we found a lot from the real estate agent about this. That real estate agent really knows a lot. No matter which side you look at it, what you're doing isn't fair. You're the one who told me to get you a job, Larry. But not with them. Seriously. What did I say earlier? I don't want to hear your complaints. But my mother got into the car with the handsome looking guys from the pickup unit. Oh, nice. <laughs> Is it true that your mother goes weak at the knees when it comes to handsome looking men? <laughs> this isn't funny, Lola. Hey, come on. It's just a joke. Besides, you can't let your mother go alone, can you? No, but I can't leave. You will leave. Please hurry up and get in the truck. This can't be happening to me. This is crap. It's not fair. With Larry chasing after his mother, who's eager to be picked up by handsome men, and doesn't get what's going on, gets into the car, about to burst into tears. Also... I have the secret ingredient to get my ex-mother-in-law into the vehicle with no problems given to me by Laura. <laughs> with her being enticed into the vehicle, Larry had no choice but to settle into his company housing estate and began working at the lumber site the next day. It seems like he's being well-educated amidst the warm <laughs> welcome of his colleagues. And my mother-in-law, of course she doesn't have a worksite job, so it seems like she's being taught mainly business etiquette and interpersonal skills during her desk work. They have no choice but to be exhausted every day as they have nowhere else to go. 
It seems they are spending their days working hard, even with tears in their eyes. Hey babe, are you awake? Text me when you get a chance. I'm awake. What's up? Is everything okay? Oh good, glad I could get a hold of you. This is kind of out of the blue, but I have something really important I need to talk to you about. Should I call you? No, just texting is fine. First of all, I just wanted to say how much I appreciate everything you've done for me. There's honestly nothing I would change about our relationship. Even after my job relocated me and we've been apart. You coming to visit me here really made things easier. Okay. Why are you telling me all of this? You're really flattering me. I'm about to blush. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you knew how I felt. But I have to tell you something. What? I really hope you could forgive me. Ashley, I think we should get divorced. Okay. No problem. <laughs> what? Yeah, like I said, no problem. You're serious, aren't you? Of course it's okay with me. Is something wrong? Uh, no, it's just... I I'm a little surprised you aren't asking why I want a divorce or anything like that. Are you serious? Are you actually okay with getting a divorce? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> You're the one who said it in the first place. Why are you being weird about it? I feel like I'm going crazy right now. Why did you say yes so easily? Is there something on your mind? Did I do something wrong? There has to be a reason you agreed so quickly. Who just says okay to get in a divorce that fast? Huh. Yeah, there's nothing I can think of. <laughs> you didn't do anything. Then why did you answer so quickly? You could have at least taken a minute to think over what you were going to say to me. Why would I do that? Were you trying to shock me or something? No, I, I wasn't. It's just... I just think it's a little weird if you were trying to get a reaction out of me. How old are you? <laughs> you need to choose your words carefully for a time like this. I really wasn't trying to get any reaction out of you. But you actually want to get divorced, don't you? I said, let's do it. What's the problem? Let's move things along ASAP. Are you really sure about this? I said yes like ten times. You don't need to keep asking. If you're going to be annoying like this, you'll have a hard time finding someone new. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Anyway, when are you coming home to visit? I think I'll be able to come back sometime next week. Okay. Let me know once you find out what day you're going to be back. We could talk about what the next step is going to be then. Okay, sounds good. I'll get all the divorce papers ready. We need to figure out how things are going to play out once we finalize everything. All right, yeah, let's do that. Well, I'm about to hop in the shower. Thanks for letting me know about getting separated. You were a pretty good husband. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks, I guess. You weren't so bad yourself? I'll text you later. Okie dokie. Hey, are you free to talk right now? Wow, I haven't heard from you in a while. Did you decide what day you're coming home? Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm texting you. It looks like I'll be coming home this Saturday. Gotcha. What do you mean one of the reasons? Do you have something else you want to talk to me about? Actually, I do. After we talk on Saturday, if we really decide to get divorced, I think it would be a good idea to go see your parents and let them know. You really want to go tell my parents? Yeah, I do. I think it's important we meet with them and tell them face to face about us getting separated. Huh. I don't think that's the best idea. I think my dad would knock you out the second you walked through the door. Why would he do that? I actually already told them about us getting divorced. My dad was super pissed. <laughs> He said he never wanted to see your face again. So, yeah. I don't think it's the best idea to go and see them. <laughs> what? Why'd you tell them we're getting divorced? We didn't decide anything yet. Oh, I thought it was pretty much settled. 
You're the one that started this whole thing when you told me you wanted to get a divorce. Yeah, but... Like I said, you'd just be bothering my family if you come here to meet with them. All that would happen is there would be a big fight. I don't need that stress. Well, okay, I guess we won't go over to talk to them. They wouldn't even have time to talk with you anyway. What do you mean? Actually, they're really helping me out right now. They've signed me up for like a hundred dating apps and websites. What? Once I told them I was getting a divorce, they said, Thank God, you're finally ditching that loser. We'll find you a good man that will treat you right. <laughs> They're going crazy to try and find me a new husband. <laughs> you're already thinking about dating again? Yup. <laughs> I was actually looking forward to the single life. But then I thought it wouldn't be so bad for mommy and daddy to help me find someone new. This is all moving way too fast. We haven't decided on anything. Please, just tell your parents to hold on for a while. Huh, well, I could do that. But there's nothing you can really do to stop them, is there? Wow. Like I said, you're the one who said we should get divorced, right? I think it's a little too late to change your mind now. <laughs> yeah, I did, but don't you think it's a little weird to move this fast? We haven't even talked things over yet. You totally jumped the gun. Maybe, but thinking about down the road, it's probably for the best to get everything over with as soon as possible. I'm not going to stay this young and beautiful forever. <laughs> I'm about to turn 30. If I plan on getting remarried, I have to make my move as soon as possible. Otherwise, before I know, it'll be too late. Yeah, maybe, but... Anyway, you said you'd be home Saturday, right? When you come, just be a good boy and sign the divorce papers. Please and thank you! Hey, Ashley, I I've been thinking. I don't think we should get divorced after all. I really think we should just stay together. I don't want to get divorced. What do you mean? After thinking about it, I just think I'd really regret it if we actually split up. Let's just wipe the slate clean with all these talks about getting divorced. Hang on a sec. No way. Why not? Well, I can't just forget about you telling me you wanted to get divorced. The divorce train has already left the station. <laughs> we can't stop it now. I don't think that at all. Just please, give it a second thought. Once I imagined my life without you, I couldn't take the thought of not having you by my side. I really just want to stay together. Please, Ashley, I'm begging you. That reminds me. I'm already dating someone new. <laughs> what? He makes <laughs> three times as much as you do. <laughs> He's a real stud, too. Way more handsome than you are. Oh, and that's not all. He's got a great personality, too. How lucky am I? <laughs> he didn't care at all that I was divorced. Are you serious right now? I really can't believe it. He's like an angel that fell from heaven. Which is why I want to get this divorce over with ASAP. Sorry, but you can't take back what you said. I can't believe you. My parents love my new man, too. Anyway, see you Saturday. Oh my god, hang on. I said I don't want to get divorced anymore. Just stop with telling me all about that guy. Oh yeah, I realized I never asked you. Why did you say you wanted to get divorced in the first place? You're asking me that now? Well, you wouldn't have said that if you didn't have a reason, right? It's been on my mind. I figured I'd ask since this might be the last time we talk to each other. <laughs> Don't say that. Now that I think about it, it's a pretty stupid reason. I just wanted to go back to the single life. What made you think that? Another guy I'm with on this business trip isn't married. 
He just seemed like he could do whatever he wanted. Honestly, I was jealous of him. Oh, okay. You two are about to have something in common. Isn't that great? You're going to be free, just like you wanted. Yeah, well, that's what I thought at first. I realized what was really important. I'd much rather be with you than have the freedom of being on my own. I'll finally be back for good next year. Once I'm back, we could spend all our time together. No more weekend visits like now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, sorry? <laughs> I'm watching my favorite TV show right now. I'm not really paying attention to anything you're saying. <laughs> Maybe you could tell me again some other time. Oh my god. See ya. Just wait a second. Forget about your show. Just please listen to what I'm saying. Oh, please pick up. You're not home right now? I just pulled up. Oops. Sorry. I'm at a coffee shop right now. Why? I thought we were supposed to talk things over at home. Oh, I made plans to meet someone before you got back today. I lost track of time. We're finishing up now, though. I'll make my way back home in a little bit. All right. Come back as soon as you can. Ashley, you gotta forgive me. I know what I did was wrong. You never thought I'd find out, did you? Well, guess what? I've known this whole time. I can only imagine how you felt when we both walked through the door. I almost had a heart attack. I had no idea you knew about her. <laughs> you must have felt like such an idiot. Ashley, please, just leave her out of this. <laughs> you must be crazy. Your little girlfriend knew you were married. And yet she still agreed to have an affair with you? So no, I can't just leave her out of this. Please, she's pregnant. Don't put her through this. She's really trying hard to save up money to raise the baby. Just leave her alone. I'm really begging you. Too late. We've already talked about everything. I know you want to be all like, my girlfriend this, my girlfriend that. But she already said she takes full responsibility for all of this. Sorry, but you can't just waltz in and change anything now. Are you serious? Did she really say that? She did. And it didn't seem like she had any plans to get divorced from her husband either. She also kept saying about how her real husband was going to raise her baby. When we met for the first time, she wouldn't shut up about it. <laughs> what are you talking about? You didn't know? Oh, today at the coffee shop, she really kept bragging about it. So I had no choice but to call up her husband. I told him, hey, buddy, your ugly, nerdy wife is having an affair. You better get a paternity test because that kid isn't yours. I'm pretty sure my husband got her pregnant. <laughs> Oh my god, you should have seen her face. She turned white as a ghost. Oh my god. Oh, that girlfriend of yours is a real piece of work. Her whole world came crashing down once I got her husband on the phone. But now I think she finally understands how screwed she is. <laughs> Which is why she said she takes full responsibility for what happened. Oh, she cried her eyes out apologizing to me. This doesn't feel real. What did she say was going to happen to me and her? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Why don't you ask her yourself? You really are a huge piece of shit. <laughs> as soon as she said she was pregnant, you completely abandoned her? Ugh, I'm actually amazed anyone could be such a low-life loser. I didn't stop talking to her just because of that. I honestly wanted to fix things with you and not get separated. That's why I wanted to take back what I said about the divorce. Oh, yeah? Your little girlfriend told me a different story. As soon as she told you she was pregnant, you rolled your eyes and told her, 
I don't need this right now. On top of that, you verbally abused her too. And then you completely ghosted her, didn't you? She really said that to you? Of course she did. You had absolutely no plans to try and make things right with her. I honestly kind of feel bad for her. She actually seems like a decent person, unlike you. Now it looks like her and her husband are getting divorced. She's going to try to raise the kid on her own. Like I said, she's taking full responsibility for all of this. No way. Oh yeah, you probably know this already, but when you told me you wanted to get a divorce, I already knew about your affair. You already knew about it back then? Yep. That's why my parents immediately started helping me find someone new. And their hard work paid off. <laughs> I really can't believe all of this. Even if you didn't say you wanted to get divorced, things would have probably ended up the same way as they are now. I think it's time you move on. No, 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 no. I don't want to get divorced. I'm on my hands and knees begging you. Just please give me another chance. I don't think you really understand what's happening. You're the one who was unfaithful and said you wanted to end things. You have no power to take any of that back now. Please, let's just figure something out. I'll do anything, please. No freaking way. Why not? Like I said, I already found a man that's better than you in literally every way. This could be my last shot at love. Just leave me alone. I don't want to have to deal with you anymore. How could you say that? The sooner we split up, the sooner you can find someone new. Ugh, I'm sick of talking about this. End this nightmare and agree to getting a divorce. I just can't give up that easily. Please, don't leave me. There's absolutely no way I'm staying in this marriage. I've had enough of you. You're a terrible person, inside and out. Sign the papers, Jimmy. Let me be free. After talking on and on about my new man and urging Jimmy to finalize the divorce, he's completely stopped talking to me. I know he's reading my texts, but we finally got to talk in person about everything. Unfortunately, though, he couldn't accept the reality of what was happening to him and had a meltdown. He kept saying, I don't want to get divorced. My side chick did nothing wrong. We didn't make any progress, and he refused to sign the divorce papers. Then he had to go back on another business trip. I'm not sure if he was finally fed up about hearing me brag about my new man. But a few days later, the signed divorce papers showed up at my door. I practically sprinted to the courthouse to submit everything. I also finally got to talk to a lawyer and figured out how we were going to split our assets. Uh, to make things worse for Jimmy, his company found out about everything. They moved him even further away from where he was posted this time around. I don't think he's ever going to make it back. <laughs> Whatever. At least now he gets to enjoy the single life just like he wanted. <laughs>